promised you guys some more cooking videos because I said I was going camping. We haven't exactly gotten camping yet. As you see, the camera is pointing at my car. There's a really funny story about that. Um, we're in something called a Zek, which is a controlled hunting and logging and fishing zone. We've got permission uh, to come in here and go camping wherever we see fit. Uh, it cost us $20 to, to come in for the right to the road and to the right to the Zek. And um, about 20 kilometers in, uh, it was already dark at this point, and as you can see, I've got the canoe on the on the roof. We we're gonna canoe, but we didn't wanna. We didn't feel comfortable canoeing in a river in the dark. So we're just trying to find a spot. And apparently, there's supposed to be uh, a pouvoiry, um, which in English is called an outfitter, further down this road, I think. So coming down a hill. Uh, uh, we hit a loose rock, and um, this, this guy, this is the culprit, you can see there's bits of car on it. Uh, it just kept bouncing between the car and the road and, and grinding, and it severed my gas line. <laughs> so, um, thankfully my boyfriend's pretty handy. Um, the unfortunate thing is, I don't have any tools in my car, like, he keeps tools in his car. I should keep tools in my car. Um, so we had some epoxy putty and liquid epoxy to for canoe repairs, um, and we ripped an antenna off a radio to kind of put inside the, the fuel line. And we're, anyways, we're trying to get that to set. So we're trying to fix the car and it's about, I don't know, 7 o'clock at night. It's pitch black, there's snow everywhere. Um, nobody has been further along because there's no tire tracks. Oh, it's 8. And uh, so I'm going to cook dinner. <laughs> and since it's dark, um, I'm just going to concentrate on the food. I won't really be in the shot or anything. Uh, it'll be like my older videos, but uh, making risotto with sausage and some vegetables. It's gonna be yum. And uh, yeah, so we're stuck on the road, 20 kilometers in the forest. <laughs> and uh, if this doesn't work, we can either hike out or um, put the canoe in the river and canoe down the river, maybe. Hiking would probably be the safest bet. Anyways, we'll figure it out. So, what we've got. I've got some snow peas, and I was just going to boil them in some water, but I think I'm just going to break them apart and just stick them in the risotto, because we don't have water. But it's not the end of the world. I can hear a river, we can go find it in the day, and there's snow everywhere, so we can try to pick up snow without getting dirt and melt it. And we have two bottles of water, so I'm not worried about our safety. Uh, before I left, uh, I chopped up some onions, some garlic, and a bunch of portobello mushrooms. We got a Uncle Ben's Express. This is like just microwavable rice. Uh, it's supposed to be risotto. We'll see. And I've got four sausages I'm going to cook up and break up. So I think all in all it's going to be really yummy. So, this is a new toy that I bought. This little stove. It's really cool. As you see here, it runs on butane cartridges. Okay. And you push the button, and it engages the cartridge, and you turn the dial. Oh, probably got too cold. These are fun. Not good for winter camping, really, because um, if it, the butane gets below zero degrees, uh, it just doesn't work. So I imagine that's what the problem is, and I'm going to stick it in my shirt. It's running right now. Super easy. It's really cool. The stove itself, uh, I found in Chinatown, and it cost me 23 bucks. And uh, four of these cartridges cost five bucks, so pretty cheap. 
It's bulky, but it's super light. I'm just going to break this up with my hands. Mmm, sausage. And you can control the temperature and pretty nifty little stove. Just not ideal for winter camping like I am. But you know me, I usually like cooking over over a fire, <laughs> except I'm on the side of the road. Thankfully I did bring a stove. So, you know, I can cook. <laughs> See, we didn't plan out this trip. We just got in the car, says, ah, oh, we'll go in this direction and we'll camp. And um, we had a couple lakes that we were going to visit. Um, but in this area, around Let's Hook, it all seems to be private uh, land, which is a little bit weird being this far north in Quebec. Um, it's all owned by logging companies or outfitters, and uh, we literally drove right up to a, a lake, and uh, they wouldn't let us on at all. Like, it's like, oh, we, you know, we can pay if you like, and they're like, no, and uh, we had to turn around. So, I, I find that really bizarre, but, eh, what can you do? <laughs> Plan your trips, <laughs> we're going on an adventure. We're okay with adventure. I'm just gonna take these snow peas and just break them up into little pieces. So here I've just got uh, my snow peas broken up. I'm going to put those on the fire. The sausage is already cooked. And I'm just going to dump in all the vegetables and saute these up. I poured some of the leftover fat from cooking the sausage in the pot. Alrighty, so that's cooked down. Unfortunately, the canister's getting too cold and the flame's dying out. But it's okay, I keep warming it up with my hands. So I'm gonna add in the risotto. Break it up. And it says to add in 100 ml of water before microwaving it, so I'm going to add in some water. Uh, I need a better spoon. It might even go with my hands. They're really hard. I'm just going to break that all up. I got the rice all broken up. Let's mix it all up. Escaping mushroom. I'm going to add in some water. And I'll let this cook some more. All right, well that's heated through. Here's my thing of sausage. I'm just gonna add that back into this to heat the sausage back up since the sausage is the bigger, the sausage is the bigger pot. I'm gonna just bring it all up back to temperature and then we'll be ready to eat. It smells really good. I wasn't very hungry when I started cooking, but I figured I should eat. I haven't had much more than some oatmeal this morning and some uh, trail mix this afternoon. And I figured eating would lift our spirits. So I made food, but since I started making food, I feel famished now. 
so I'll just stir this all in together. There's probably going to be leftovers. Oh well, we can. I'll just put it back and let it cool off and put it back into the Ziploc that uh, all the onions and mushrooms are in. And uh, I didn't pack a big cooler, but I packed a, a small cooler with some meat, some bacon, some eggs, uh, some hamburger for spaghetti tomorrow night. So I figured we were out in the cold, we want some uh, heartier food than just the dehydrated stuff. So I'll, uh, there's leftovers, I'll just let it cool off, pack it back up in the Ziploc and put it back in the cooler bag. And it'll be a neat side dish to have with bacon and eggs tomorrow morning, I think. Alrighty. It's all piping hot. And my boyfriend couldn't resist, he was stealing bites already. <laughs> but I'm going to taste it myself, I'm going to turn off this. When you turn off the thing, it automatically disengages the, uh, the butane. And now, let's get some sausage and some snow peas. That looks awesome. Mmm. That's super good. So, um, this has been random cooking risotto, broken down on the side of the road, trying to go camping. If you guys have any crazy stories like that, post them, write them, I want to hear it. Because, I don't know, even though it's kind of a shitty or a crappy experience, I don't know, it's kind of uh, interesting and, I don't know, maybe even fun. Anyways. Let me know your experiences. Bon appétit!